after um, they announced number five, I was like, okay, now it's over, right? It's like, <laughs> there's no way I go above fifth, right? When they said from Austining, I was like, oh wow, that's me. Afterwards, it sort of hit me, and then it was like, oh wow, this is, this is life changing, right? Even now, it's hard to put it into exact words, like how it feels to get it, but it, it definitely was surreal for the, um, for the longest time. My mentor, um, uh, he's Dr. David Tarijini. He's right now at the University of Birmingham. You know, without him, and especially without his guidance in sort of formulating um, a lot of these ideas or sort of looking at the code I'd written and seeing if there are any potential errors in it, I don't think I would have been able to even get to the finalist level, level let alone like with place within the top 10. As for Mr. Pick and Ms. Holmes, they gave me a lot of guidance, but especially sort of giving me the confidence to you know, go there to go to the, the very difficult panel judging and sort of be confident in my own answers. I think what's really interesting is that the people at the finals week, they're all extremely brilliant. And I sort of being a winner of the competition sort of gives me the confidence or the track record I need to know that, hey, I can make, I can really make a change. It inspires me to be more ambitious and have you know, a wider um, goal than sort of what I had before. I mean, I'm really grateful for Society for Science for putting together such an event um, and giving people a chance to sort of compete for this type of stuff and sort of showcase their work for the world.